still on how to find the derivative of trigonometric function we have a question here that says find the derivative of y equals to sine 2x in this case you are going to treat this uh, function as a function of a function so let u equals 2x the function under the bracket then you differentiate u with respect to x which is equal to 2 therefore y is going to be equal to sine u because you have let 2x to be u then you differentiate y with respect to u dy over du which is equal to cos cos u now to obtain dy over dx you multiply du over dx with dy over du and du over dx is 2 multiplied by dy over du which is cos cos u but you know that u is uh, equal to 2x then you substitute therefore finally dy over dx is going to be 2 cos 2x therefore 2 cos 2x is the derivative of sine 2x find the derivative of sec x first of all you know that sec of a function x is going to be 1 over cos x which is an inverse strict function of sec so this can also be transformed as a power function cos x raised to the power of negative 1. So altogether y you let y to be equal to cos x raised to the power of negative 1 dy over dx will be equal to you drop down the exponent minus you multiply with cos x raised to the power of uh, negative 1 minus 1 which is negative 2 times the derivative of the function under the bracket which is cos x this will be equal to minus cos raised to the power of negative 2 times the derivative of cos x is going to be minus sin x but this can be transformed using laws of indices as minus 1 divided by cos squared x multiplied by minus sine x dy over dx if you multiply these two times together it will be sine x divided by cos squared x equal to sine x divided by cos x times 1 over cos x because cos x times cos x is cos squared x from trigonometric ratios you know that sine x over cos x is going to be tan x multiply by from uh, inverse trigonometry you know that this is going to be a um, sec x sec x altogether equals tan x sec x therefore the derivative of uh, y with respect to x for sec x is going to be tan x sec x differentiate y equals to cos squared x cos x raised to the power of 2 therefore dy over dx would be equal to you drop down the exponent 2 you multiply by cos x then you times with the derivative of the function under the bracket d over dx of 
cos x. This will give us 2 cos x multiplied by the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Altogether, dy over dx is now equal to minus 2 sin x cos x. So this is the derivative of what? Cos squared x. We are asked to find the derivative of cotangent x. Cotangent x, cotangent is an inverse function of tan, which is 1 over 10x. But you know that 10x is going to be sine x over cos x. Therefore, cotangent of x equals, if you take the reciprocal of this, you, you are going to get cos x over sin x. Then using uh, quotient rule, you let u to be equal to cos x, the numerator. Therefore, du with respect to x, you differentiate u with respect to x. This is going to give us minus sine x. You let v to be equal to the denominator, which is sine x. Then you differentiate it with respect to x, and you are going to get cos x. Quotient rule says dy over dx equals to v multiplied by du over dx minus u times dv over dx all divided by v squared. Now let's substitute. We have v to be sine x, so we have sine x times du over dx, which is negative sine x minus u which is cos x. dv over dx is also cos x. Divide by v squared, which is sine squared x. This time this, we are going to obtain negative sine squared x minus cos times cos is cos squared x. Divide by sine squared x. By factorization, we have minus sine squared x plus cos squared x divided by sine squared x. From trigonometric identity, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So we have 1 negative divided by sine squared x. And this will give us from uh, inverse trigonometry. 1 divided by sine is going to give us cosec. So negative cosec squared x. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x for cotangent of x.